And why, by the way, is the answer to mass shootings always universal gun confiscation? Shouldn't we be focused on the people who did it, on the dangerous people? It's like forcing the entire population into drug rehab in response to the fentanyl crisis. Probably better to focus on the addicts. Why did they get addicted? How can we help them? Let's be serious about this. Children died. It's real. Stop with the talking points. Be honest. Jason Whitlock is always honest. He's the host of Fearless. He joins us tonight. Jason Whitlock, it's, it's not even about gun control. I mean, at this point, it's not even like kind of worth arguing about gun control. It's just too stupid even to dignify with a response. But like, there's a deeper thing going on here. Why is no one saying that? Uh, it's much deeper. And Tucker, thank you for having me on because I think this is a very important topic and you've laid it out beautifully. Hey, look, big tech, these social media apps, this addiction, this dopamine addiction that they have given all of us, our smartphones, they're our enemies. They are disconnecting yes. our human connection. Th yes. th this young man, Salvador Ramos or whatever, uh, lived a very isolated life. His family was in tatters. Uh, allegedly, his mother was a drug abuser. He's living with his grandmother. There doesn't appear to be a connection to his father. He's online playing Call of Duty. He's connecting with other human beings through direct messages, instant messages over Instagram. This whole world we've built, this social media matrix, it is not good for our minds. And I'll go all the way uh, to everyone's most favorite president, Barack Obama, an example we saw today that you did not reference. This is a very smart man. I believe Barack Obama is very smart. I believe social media has damaged his mind. He used this tragedy in Texas and 19 slaughtered children to venerate and celebrate George Floyd. He stood George Floyd on the bodies of 19 dead children over Twitter. Before social media, his mind would never go to connect George Floyd to yes. 19 slaughtered children, and we must remember and celebrate George Floyd. It's ridiculous, but it speaks to what social media has done to our points of view, our ability to critically think. We're building lives based around how we come across over social media apps that are not real human interaction. He would never say these things in a one-on-one -on -one conversation with, any, with anybody in Texas who just experienced this. You That's can't right. compare the slaughter of 19 children to a drug user and habitual criminal who resisted arrest and lost his life tragically because a policeman crossed the line. There's no comparison to innocent children being slaughtered. Don't stand George Floyd on the dead bodies of children. But this is what social media baits all of us to do. That's a smart man that was the president of the United States. Take it down to these kids and how they built their entire lives around their social media platforms and how can I be famous? And they don't care how you become famous over social media. If it's the slaughter of other human beings or if it's shaking your rear end nakedly and on an OnlyFans account, whatever it takes, just do it. We, we've got a mental illness pandemic going on across America and really across the globe and we're ignoring it because, hey, let's just get rid of the guns. That'll fix it. Yeah, I, I'd be sympathetic to get rid of the iPhones. Uh, I, I really would. Uh, <laughs> I'm not in charge, thank God. Uh, Jason Willock, thank you. Deep as always and much appreciated. Thank you.